This week I thought we'd do something a little bit different. This model has been sent to me to be converted into a Code 3 project. And that led me to think, is it Utopia? Hi, welcome back to St. Blazy Model World and I'm Roger. Now, if you're a regular to the channel, you'll know that uh, Code 3 projects really are no issue for me. But when we take on a commission build, it's easy to think, this is a great life. Getting paid to do what we love to do. It's not all roses. Now, this lovely little model bus will be the focus of the video. But the questions that I'm going to raise during the video can be applied to any commission work that you might think about taking on. Stay tuned, you're going to like this one. So, a couple of minutes later, we've got our model in bits. Stage one was easy. Stage two is not going to be that hard. Putting it all together and making sure it meets the client's requirements could be a tricky one, especially as, despite my extensive research and my extensive resource library, I'm a little bit lost as to the finishing colour. But we'll see how it turns out and we'll examine more of these questions about why you might want to take on a commission project. Now, you might think a commission build is easy money, but it's not as straightforward as that. You need to make sure you have the right tools for the job you've taken on. You also need to make sure you have the right skills for the job that you've taken on. And if you don't have these things and the time, eventually you're under pressure until finally you explode. Well, as you can now see, things have moved on with our commission work. The bodywork of the vehicle has been reduced back to bare metal and sprayed in primer. What have we done with those? Well, we've given that a bit of a work over, sprayed it with primer, added the cab detail. There's a shade of brown on the seating, which is representative of the right period and location, and a darker brown applied to the floor area, and that's happened on both decks. The silvery lines that you can see on the tops of the seating here, that represents the grab rails that would be on these seats. So we've done quite a bit. If you're wondering why Code 3 buses tend to cost quite a bit of money, it is because of the cost of the paint stripper uh, or various other methods that you can do it, but it's basically a chemical process and that costs money and that's one of the reasons why Code 3 models do cost more money. You know, there's, a, there's an, a degree of outlay that is not insignificant and you need to factor that in if you're thinking about taking on commission work. You, know, you don't want to work for nothing, otherwise it ceases to be commission work, doesn't it? It's just more work. Uh, so you need to think about costings as well. When somebody comes to you and says, can you build this? You say, yes, I can, but work out what it's going to cost you. And don't forget, Include your time, you know, admittedly it's a hobby on one side of the coin, but on the other side of the coin, the whole purpose of this video is to make you think about it as a semi-professional occupation. Well, I'm afraid that this is the reality of commission work. Trying to get the right colour match for the client's request. And what have I invested here? Well, quite a bit of money, actually. Uh, six products in front of you. If you take an average of at least four pounds UK sterling money per product, we've got uh, quite a bit of investment going on. Four pounds later, I finally decided on this color for the uh, cream and uh, this product here for the yellow. This is uh, high coat double acrylic. This is a fold color. And the Tamiya product is XF4. I believe they call that green yellow, but don't quote me on it. And this is what it's all come to. Creating this Wallacey Corporation double decker for my client. So there you go. Before you think that commission work is all peaches and cream, just remember you're going to have to do a little bit of research, possibly a little bit of expenditure. I'm not actually going to make any money on this project, I've got to be honest. 
But um, this is somebody's Christmas present with a backstory that I'm not going to share with you. And um, to me, it really doesn't matter on this occasion. Luckily, I can afford that. But if you're thinking about commission work, there's lots of things to consider. Backdrop of various shades of yellow and cream. This is where our commission project sits so far. And it's not finished yet by any means. There's still a lot of detail to apply. And, of course, those decals that we make ourselves here at St. Blasey Modern World. I'll just remind you now where this project started once it was dismantled so you get a before and after comparison. Well, this is the finished project, and it's pretty good. I'm not entirely happy with it, if I'm absolutely honest, but I set very high standards for myself. What have we spent on this project? Well, quite a bit of money. You can see in the background there some paint stripper, and this model was painted and stripped a number of times because I wasn't happy with the colour match. We've got a, a spray can of cream, which worked first time, and then five different shades of yellow. Total investment on the paint there is about 24 quid. About six quid's worth of, uh, six pounds worth of paint stripper. So we've put sort of 30 quid into materials alone. Cost of the decals that I produced is negligible. I mean, I, I do those all the time and I have sheets and sheets of decal paper. That's not a problem. But we really haven't made a vast amount of money on this particular project. I'm not too worried about that because part of the reason for me doing this was the backstory, as I've mentioned before. But you do need to consider all of these factors if you're going to take on a commission project. Please don't think it is all peaches and cream and that utopia life of getting paid to do what you love to do. So that about wraps this one up and I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, please give this video a thumbs up a like and if you have time leave a comment we do enjoy reading the comments it's how we increase our knowledge base of our particular hobby okay thanks for viewing and as always stay safe bye bye now from some blazing model world